Hi, beautiful souls. This is Ashu here and welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my channel. Namaste to you all. If you are sailing through your spiritual awakening or kundalini navigation and awakening process, today's video is going to be for you guys. As I'm going to talk about the power of personal versus impersonal in your navigation of kundalini awakening process, or even if you're going through any kind of uh, spiritual awakening that is causing you to create drastic shifts in the way your consciousness was perceiving the reality earlier. This video is going to be for you. So stay tuned to it as we are going to explore what is the intent of kundalini in guiding us when it comes to reorganizing the uh, perceptual lenses of our consciousness around our personal preferences, our personal lifestyles versus how we are made to make choices that are orienting more towards becoming more impersonal. And the bridging of that gap is what Kundalini awakening journey is all about. Bridging the gap between personal and impersonal. So let's talk about what do I mean when I am implying personal and what do I mean when I'm implying impersonal in your Kundalini navigation and awakening journey. Now, the personal pertains to everything, our personal choices, our personal preferences, our personal likes and dislikes, our personal attachments, whatever you name it. Everything falls under the umbrella of personal. And everything that is related to personal defines my sense of self and my sense of self that is originating through the lens of my ego self, something that is originating and has been cultivated over the years of my living in this world and interacting with this world. Whatever we looked through the filters and lenses of ego defines my sense of self or our sense of self that we have come to acquire. And now suddenly you are hit with this electric shock of the kundalini energy. And the shock is so intense, the shock is so strong that it is trying to pull you away from what you had learned earlier on. So a lot of resistance is created in this space of shift, transformation and change. So what is it that this energy is trying to pull you away from? The energy is trying to pull you away from something that was thought to be healthy, that was thought to be true. But now this energy is trying to tell you that what you were believing to be true is no longer true for you by making you go through those phases, stages, cycles, and uh, understanding and revealing the truth to you that your truth is not personal. Your authentic truth is very much different from what you believed it to be. And that is why she's giving you those, I would say, unknown experiences, which are otherwise beyond your uh, experience if this energy doesn't hit you. Because you won't be able to experience these experiences without the grace of this energy. So I know that there's a panic. But it's a panic enveloped with a sense of grace. So if you're able to grapple that sense of grace that is unfolding and creating a protective layer during this panic, if even if you're getting a glimpse of that, that is your saving grace. <laughs> I would say that is your saving grace. So that will help you to navigate forward in your process by establishing a healthy relationship with this energy. So if you have a healthy relationship with this energy, only then um, you will get the guidance to move forward in this process. If you do not develop a healthy guide, 
energetic connection with this energy will stay in the stuck spaces for longer time. So beginning to look through this process as a graceful process is going to help you a lot. So this is one thing that you can start uh, keeping in your energy field and start activating more and more as you proceed in your process. So the energy is trying to do is trying to pull you away from uh, whatever you thought to be uh, your life, you know, whatever your attachment systems were, whatever your likes and dislikes that were emanating from your uh, sense of self and that limited ego self. Now she's trying to pull you away from that. And she's trying to show you through these experiences, kind of dark night of soul kind of experiences and um diffusing uh, your actions and acts of willpower, showing you that there are other dimensions which are more powerful than you thought you to be. Uh, so all those books that you must have read around willpower, mind power, um, they are failing you right now <laughs> because your dimension is switching and this dimension is telling you that there is something much more powerful than who you thought you to be and if you really want to understand your authentic truth you really need to let go of all those uh, uh those uh, empowerments that you acquired coming through your mind uh in the form of uh, um empowering your willpower and uh, your actions originating through the filters of the willpower they're failing you right now and that is making you awakened to something like this is not really true because if it's not working any longer for me what was working for me earlier on that means this is no longer true for you so she's trying to bring your expand your awareness stretch your awareness into different dimensions of course the higher frequency dimension so be grateful that you are shown and you are sailing through this discomfort because your wiring is shifting in terms of dimension, which is a big thing. It's not a small thing. It's about how your human experience that you believe to be true is completely shifting. So just breathe and ground, breathe and ground surrender and feel the gracefulness of this discomfort that is going to help you sail through your process in a better way there's no escape <laughs> there's no escape so this is here that in these phases that you are developing and learning the power of impersonal you're learning that you are not who you believed yourself to be in a very, very embodied, very, very biological, very, very cellular, very, very spiritual way. And it is here that you are being asked to cultivate experiences of awareness where you feel a larger connection with the life you are living so you're coming out from that limited perceptual sense of self into a bigger holistic larger sense of perceptual self where you are able to see in a very deep subconscious way that how you are interconnected to everything and this is happening not at a level of, uh, I would say, the shallow layer of understanding. This is happening at a very, very deeper layers of understanding. It is kind of becoming your truth. It is kind of becoming your reality where your old ways of living life are completely shifting. So it is happening at that deep level where your old ways of relating, your older attachment systems, your older ways of doing things, the older ways of perceiving things, it is shifting in that much deeper level, that much larger level, at multiple levels in parallel it is happening. So much deeper shifts are happening. It is not only you say it, you live it. 
you experience it. And when you experience it, then you know that this is not an easy experience. So when we say it, we do not realize that we may say it, but we may not be experiencing it at a deeper level when we are not hit by the Kundalini energy. We may read it, we may say it, or maybe we can feel it at a spectrum, which is of minuscule nature. But now in your Kundalini process, you're experiencing something that is experienced in a very intense manner. So that intensity is kind of uprooting you from your previous dimensions, previous levels of um, reality that you had thought yourself to be the part of. So now it is switching your sense of reality. And when she's switching your sense of reality, you have to pass through a death-like experience because you're kind of reborn into a new reality now. So you're getting a rebirth into a new reality and any kind of birthing process is painful. So this is painful for um, a child as well who takes birth. He has to go through the trauma of transiting from the mother's womb into the noisy outside world. So your process is happening in the reverse, like from the noisy outside world, you're entering into the womb of mother nature, Kundalini mother, where she's trying to bring you more peace. She's trying to teach you like what it means to stay in the present moment in the true authentic sense, in a very deeper way where she's shifting and rewiring your brains uh, at your brain at the multiple levels so that it is becoming a container to be able to stay in the present moment by switching off those thought processes that always run in the background. Uh, so many thoughts that run in the subconscious way in an energetic field, she's kind of switching off those disturbances from your energetic field. So be thankful because I don't think so. It is otherwise possible for a limited nature of our human perceptual self to get past that kind of noise we experience all the time. So be grateful that all the difficult experiences that you may be sailing through right now, they are bringing you into a much more peaceful space of consciousness. So she's trying to bring you from that personal, egoic, limited, fearful sense of self, insecure sense of self, into the impersonal, objective, interconnected, universal, more mature sense of self, evolved sense of self, where you can see that you do not exist as a part of limited family units but you belong to the much bigger universe and this is here that she's also developing through giving you all these experiences and objectiveness in your perceptual sense of self objectivity of feeling a sense of safety of coexistence as a unit as another human being in relationship to one another human being living outside in this world. So she's trying to reunite you, fuse your diffused, fearful consciousness into a safe, connected, interconnected unity consciousness. So you are experiencing such a beautiful energy. She wants to bring you into the beauty of your being that is your unity consciousness. And it, it's a long process. It takes time, like even when you begin to see the glimpses of this unity consciousness, still a lot of work needs to be done. So be open to receive, be open to shift, be open to change, be open to a little bit of discomfort that emerges because no authentic change happens without discomfort. That's a universal law. Have you seen the storms and thunders and tsunamis and earthquakes? Such an uncomfortable experience for everybody on this earth. 
but still it happens for regeneration. And same is true for our sense of growth and evolution, especially when you're sailing through your Kundalini awakening process. So be brave in this heroic journey and sail through it by focusing on the gracefulness of this process more with gratitude and with love for this energy. And you are safe to sail through your process. With that, I will stop this video with lots of love, light and laughter for all of you wherever you are listening. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you. Bye bye.